Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to export an HD H.264 file in Premiere Pro. I'm using the Creative Cloud Edition, not a CS6, but it's essentially the exact same steps. So once you have all your clips on your timeline and you're ready to export them, if you uh, just simply set your in and out marks, like this one right here, you can either hit I, that's the easiest way to do it, and go out to your out, and hit O, set your out mark, um, and those will just snap to everything that you want to be exporting in your export. And so to go to the exporting menu, you can either hit Command M or go up to File, Export Media. And I have all my materials, so just hit OK. So it's super simple, but can seem kind of intimidating if you've never used Premiere before. It's not an incredibly straightforward concept, but it's pretty simple. So to ex export to H.264, go up to Format, make sure you have H.264 selected. I always use for 1080 videos a simple preset that's plugged in. There's the YouTube 1080p 23.976 frames per second. Um, preset and then you can just make sure down here that your window sizes and resolution is correct check all that out frame rate field order you can change all this if you want it I always keep it all the same because it keeps it simpler um, and I use H.264 because it compresses to a lot smaller file size as opposed to QuickTimes.mov um, it's just it's just nicer to have a smaller file if you ask me and it still retains its full HD qualities um, so you come over here to your output name, and this is where you choose where you want to save your file. So we'll just call it sequence one. I'll just put it on my desktop. Hit save, and then hit export. And that's the whole thing. It'll render your audio, and then go through to the second round of rendering and exporting for the video. And depending on the file size, it could take 10 minutes. It could take an hour. So uh, yeah, that's it. That is exporting in HD for H.264.